cleaners had shed their skins. This was their turf, no need for disguises anymore. Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk, quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this- Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. This cleaner stuff's made me think. Didn't you- Hey! There he is! We got him! We got him! No! Stop! The room's full of explosives! Stop shooting! Oh shit! Run! Run! Max! What's going on? The building's blowing up! That's what's going on!
Cover me! I didn't know what Mona wanted, if it was the same thing I was after. To kill those who were trying to kill her. The bullet, real or imagined, lodged in her head routing her synapses, driving her on. She had arrived to the site while I was inside the condemned building. I don't know what went on with her. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? Condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Be that way. Okay, so we're breaking our backs hauling the hardware here because the choir building's not gonna exist much longer. But what are we supposed to do with the bodies? They're not gonna magically turn to dust when the building blows up. It's gonna be a mess. The boss will figure it out. Trust his twisted evil mind on this. Mm-hmm. 